Now, actress Julie Walters has given a candid interview this week to Yours magazine, expressing her confusion over who to vote for at the next election, despite being a staunch Labour backer her entire life. In fact, it was her support for the Labour Party that led to her meeting her husband, Grant. In a packed Tory pub back in 1985, she's revealed that she shouted out, I bet there's nobody in here who votes Labour, is there? And Grant piped up, I do, actually. Now, as a result, they started talking, she took him back to her house, and she says he's been there ever since. So, is it important that your partner shares your same, the same political views as you, or, or does it sometimes, is it a good thing to, to agree to disagree? It's funny, because it isn't usually on the tick list when you first meet someone, is it? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I think you're more interested in other bits and pieces, but, uh, but it does become, I think, quite important as you share a life together, and I, and I think particularly if, if either one one of you is a very passionate person about politics and, or, and is deeply political then then I think it can be quite difficult Paul and I aren't very political animals so you know we we're, we're kind of matched in that way um, and I think I mean if these are politics the things that matter in like everyday life like choice of schools uh, NHS private medical care and stuff like that, that. Is politics because it all comes yeah. from government yeah I suppose if you didn't agree on that then it could be quite difficult but you know we uh, and we do we, we agree on, on on most of that stuff so I um, yeah I think it is important do yeah. you see I, Darren and I have completely different um, political stances I'm I, I've, I am a, a Labour supporter and and he is is as blue as the day is long um, he's he's you know a, a staunch Tory and um, and we have really different views on that, but I find that quite exciting. What about schools? Like, if you were, for example, with Ben, if you were totally thinking... different views. Now, this is, well, but you know what? We've, this has been a big um, subject of debate for us since Ben was born. Um, he is uh, very much of the thought that if you can afford a private education for your child and you can give them the best that you can, then that's then you should, as a parent, do that. I just think, actually, I don't want Ben to go to um, a school where everyone drives a four by four and has three holidays a year because that's not real life. I, you know, I want him to grow up knowing. The, the haves from the have-nots and to know that life isn't an even playing field. It just doesn't work like that. Um, but that said, I'm not going to cut off my nose to, to, to spite my political face if a good state school isn't available and we can afford um, to put him through private school. Um, so it's difficult. It is difficult. But I think it keeps the relationship exciting. He's a news junkie. He's actually really well read on politics. And I learn a lot from him. And I argue a lot with him. And I enjoy that. What's, what I also find be... fascinating is people that are deeply political can't understand when you're not... It, that equally, you couldn't no, live no, with someone who wasn't interested. I can't really understand that. I can't understand people who aren't interested in what actually makes their lives absolutely. go, you know, work. Or, you know, because it, it affects absolutely everybody. And, you know, each to their own. You know, if you want to just take no notice, then, then that's up to you. But it does, it does annoy me a little bit. And I think some people do find it hugely important. My friend went on a date, and the first question um, that he got asked was, what, what's your political persuasion? And he told him, he said, right, this can't go on. And that was the end of that. <laughs> you know, and that, well, well, that's really serious. But, you know, and, and frankly, I, 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 would, I, I probably wouldn't want to go out with someone who, uh, you know, say, for instance, supported the BNP. But I am quite tolerant of other people's views. What I wouldn't want is I wouldn't want to be with someone who had a particular political view, who wasn't willing to listen to someone else's political view. Because it's only by listening and talking that you can be maybe persuaded to change the way you think. And... Mm. No, no, this, that, this, that, everything's Margaret Thatcher's fault, mine is blah, blah, blah. You just think, well, you know, you're not, you're not listening. You don't That's want ignorant. to hear because you grow, sometimes you grow up with a political view and it's difficult to change. But I think as you get older, you do learn more and you do start to question things and find things out for yourself. And that's healthy. So I haven't really got a problem with it, but I would have a problem with someone who just, you, you know, don't want to hear. I think when you first meet somebody, as you say, I don't think that comes into the equation, but I think once you get to know somebody, if you don't have similar views, I think things can go... I mean, it happened to me, and uh, we were completely different. And if I'd have seen, looked at his parents, and his father particularly, I'd have realised who he would be, and it, and it was not right for me. Uh, fundamentally, the values of life, I guess, you know, of Keeley growing up and things like that were different, but the political views were so far apart that we couldn't agree on anything. Now, I don't think you should agree on everything because life would be very boring if we all said, no. oh, yes, I agree with you totally. I mean, what would we We'd be bored to death and leave them anyway. And you can so, you know... <laughs>
<laughs> but, but I do think you have to have the same sort of values because otherwise core values you, you, are important. Yes, yes. not political. Not yeah. political, yeah. but so core values yeah. of your life and the way you live. a moral compass yeah. than it is and a political and value. And we are allowed to change who we vote for. We are allowed to change our politics as well. I think some people get yeah. a bit, bit stuck in, in one thing and, and, and I well, think evolving is good.